Wait a minute. Let me check my inventory. What? The Illudium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator? Oh, that creature stole the space modulator. Give me back my space modulator, sir. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and welcome back to another episode of Planetary Confinement. Now I've been down here collecting up a bunch of watermelon because watermelon is not only going to replenish our hunger, but it's also going to work on our hydration. Because today, we are finally going to go exploring. And you, mister, you're pointing the way. <laughs> you're telling me exactly where I want to go, which is over here. Now, what I've got to do today is we have to... Where to go? Open fire. Open fire was our last objective thing we have to do, and it wanted us to go to the end to get obsidian. But I, see, at least get some obsidian right there, get obsidian for turrets for your base. Now, I've got this really cool wall and moat, so I'm not quite sure why I need turrets for my base. Unless the book knows something I don't know. Is there something that's going to attack me? <laughs> I don't know. And the book won't tell me. The book is just telling me to prepare. Err, that book. I'm wondering if that book is the reason why I crashed here. Maybe that book made me crash, and the book is trying to do experiments on me. I wonder. But anyway, oh, more lemongrass, and we'll just let you grow in the wild. We've got plenty of your cousins and uncles growing over there. Somewhere over here, I had found a giant lava pool. I think it was this way. But there's two things, two things of interest I want to check out. One is the lava pool. I've got me a bucket of water, and I've got it safely off of my toolbar. Because knowing me, I would spill it somewhere. And then I would, I would have to go all the way back to get more water. Because apparently we can only craft water back at the spaceship. But we're going to try and get over here to this giant lava pool and see if pouring some water on it will make obsidian before uh, the water evaporates. And if it does, hopefully the pickaxe that I have will let me break it. Um, so, and I can't remember. Okay, there's those weird little spots that I thought was water. And it's kind of, I think, over this way. Yep, I think that right there is that really crazy looking... No? Where is it? Oh, great. Now we're going to get lost. <laughs> And look, I brought me an emergency storage chest. So if for some reason I feel like I'm about to die or I'm like running out of water, hydration. That's what I'm looking for. If I'm running out of hydration, I can quickly stick all my stuff in a chest so it won't despawn. And then I can come back out here and find it. Now I wrote down the coordinates. I wrote down the coordinates to where, where this lava pool is. So I may have to do that. I'm going to have to go and check my coordinates and see if I'm going the right way because I don't know. This huge, vast desert with little landmarks like that that are slowly disappearing. They are begging for me to get lost out here forever. And the spacesuit only has so much air. Apparently it has infinite air. <laughs> but, okay, so I am going to go see if I can figure out where these coordinates are and find this lava lake, and then I'll bring you back, and we're going to see if we can make ourselves some obsidian. Alright, so I made it over here. Oh, there it went. See those crazy looking little flashes of fire? Well, look at this. Okay, so apparently the flashes of fire are squids. Showing up in the lava for some strange reason, so I've been running around here, and I managed to collect a whole bunch of of ink sacks and look at that the sun is about to go down so before the sun goes down real quick we're going to go ahead and test this out because this is going to quickly tell us if we're going to be able to do this or are we going to have to go jump in that end portal so here goes nothing three two one <gasps> that was weird sound was right on cue <laughs> i wonder if we can harvest this 
can we? Will this pickaxe... It looks like it's breaking it, doesn't it? It looks like... Oh, we can! Awesome! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig myself a pit, and I'm going to hide and and let the night go by and then i'm going to come back and get the subsidium when the daylight comes and then we're going to see if we can get ourselves some turrets whatever it is that we've got to do in here from open fire and another water bottle so all this for one water bottle <laughs> so i'm gonna get safe and i'll see you in just a second all right well i managed to get 16 obsidian which if my count is correct is going to give me two turrets i figured i'd go ahead and get some extra obsidian just in case because you never never know and might as well i mean i'm all the way out here with all these supplies might as well come out here and yeah look at this i found all this armor and some xp laying on the ground on that hill so apparently i died over here and forgot about it but I came back over this way and I saw this mess over here. Now I remember seeing this from afar and I wasn't sure what it was. I figured, well, you know what? We're over here. It's about noon. Let's go ahead and... Darn it! <laughs> right when I get over here. I hope there's nothing dangerous or terrible that I could fall into. Now... Okay, so this is crazy. Let's try and do parkour in the sandstorm. Can't see what I'm doing. I, I guess the good news is that bad guys don't spawn in the middle of a sandstorm. It doesn't treat it as like nighttime or a low light level. It just makes it where we have blindness and weakness. Wow, weakness. I didn't realize that. So if we get into a fight with bad guys in a sandstorm, or is it weakness to mine? No. So it must be weakness in fighting, like a broken sword. I've never even seen that before. That's crazy. <gasps> and it goes away. Awesome. So, I wonder what this is for. I wonder if, like, a big meteor struck here? I have a feeling there's going to be a chest. So, what in the world is that? Oh, that's that giant hill that I saw this from. Okay. So I think I know where I am. I think I'm getting close to home. I think I am. I think I am. But this is crazy. It's like a giant mess. A giant mess of sand everywhere. Just so we can parkour. And I hate parkour, but if this is the only parkour that I have to do in this game, then I might be happy. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I don't know if there's even anything to find here. And that ominous sound. There's that ominous sound again. I think it's telling me to keep looking. Well, hmm, search here for just a second longer, because this might make for boring footage. It might make good archival footage, though, to, like, send back home and say, this is, this is the exploration of the planet that was done. And as you can see, there's nothing out here. Whoa, thought I saw something over here. You watch, it won't be anything. Nope. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm going to keep looking about, and if I can't find anything, then I will hopefully meet you back over at the spaceship so we can craft these turrets and see what happens next. All right, everybody. I explored that area, and I couldn't really find anything, so I started making my way back, and look, I've already drank up all my lemongrass tea. I think I had brought some, uh, some cactus tea tea or something and I ate up all the watermelon and you can see that my pickaxe is slowly turning into nothing <laughs> well I've been digging this humongous tunnel and here's why I was above the surface I was keeping my hydration pretty high but my temperature kept going up it wouldn't stop and I remembered if I go underground my temperature will go down so, I picked a general direction that I think is back to the rocket ship, or the, the crashed spacecraft, as it were. And I figured I would uh, dig a bit, as long as this pickaxe holds out. I'm going to have to definitely make another one when we get back. But you can see that my temperature is going down. Now, it was up around 75. It's made its way down to about 49. And I think now what I need to do before this pickaxe wears out is I need to start... Uh-oh! <laughs> there we go 
we'll use the trick to our advantage. Oh good, and it is daytime. I kept hearing spiders, and I kept thinking that it was still nighttime. Okay, so I think in this direction is where I'm supposed to go. Let's see. Check the coordinates. Negative 130. I think I'm supposed to be at positive 70. I think it was. Because this is starting to look familiar. All this lemongrass and that mountain. I hope I'm going the right way. <laughs> because if not, the only other alternative is to, to dump everything into my emergency chest and, and start wandering. And if I end up dying, oh man, a heat wave. Another tropical heat wave. Piggy's going to catch on fire. Look at that temperature just start to go up like a, a rocket. Oh man, so I hope on top of this hill I will be able to see the spaceship. Because if not, like I said, I think what we're going to have to do is dump everything in a chest, die, spawn over at the spaceship, and then come back. Look at that. We're already cooking. We're already turning into bacon. Is the spaceship over this hill? Uh-oh. Well, there are those things. I recognize those. The little pools of andesite. They look like water, but they're not. They're Trixie, Trixie andesite. Okay, those spikes are familiar. That house is familiar. So I wonder, where is the spaceship? Usually I've got really good sense of direction, but for some reason, I can't remember. Well, I know that the spaceship is nearby, and my temperature is going up. The hydration's staying pretty good, but the temperature's skyrocketing, which means any second now, any second now, when I hit 100, those hearts, those hearts are going to go down to nothing. Now, I think the only saving grace is I have enough food that I can keep my hunger up so I won't starve to death. And it's noon, so maybe I've got enough time to make it back to the spaceship. Boy, I hope so. I really don't feel like making my way all the way back over here. Is that it? Nope. <laughs> it's a mirage. It's a crazy, crazy mirage. Uh-oh, and there it goes. Peggy's having his own tropical heat wave now. Uh-oh, and bleeding. And I wonder, does hydration start to go down fast? When your temp yep, look at it. It's it's like going down two at a time. Oh man! All right, well I'm gonna see if I can make my way over to the spaceship before I die. And if not, like I said, I'm gonna dump everything in a chest. Okay, that looks familiar. That's the roasted pig. And apparently, there's about to be two roasted pigs out here in the desert. <laughs> So I'm going to see if I can get back to the spaceship, and then I will meet you over there, and we are going to make ourselves some turrets. All right, everybody. You may notice something crazy. My hydration. It's almost at 100. My temperature. It's at zero. Piggy, you must have died. <laughs> well, I did, but check this out. So I found the spaceship. I got all the way back over here. I got through that door. And I fell down. <laughs> In true piggy fashion, I got all the way back over here just to fall and die. Can you believe that? Oh, man. I just, uh, I was like, yep, typical. That is exactly, I'm staying in character. At least I'm staying in character. All right, so we've got all this stuff. Got a little bit more watermelon there. Let's go ahead and go up here and see if we can figure out how to craft this. Now, the only problem that I was having, where is it? Gosh, look at all that sandstone just filling up our inventory. Can we dump some of this and get rid of it? Double click that, we'll get rid of all that junk. Probably need to go ahead and get rid of all this extra armor too. Mm, I'll just leave it there for now. But let's see, crafting guide, crafting guide. Figure out how to make a distress, not a distress beacon, obsidian turret needs a top and bottom piece i think let's see what are they called blocks no 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 deconstructor obsidian turret i'm not seeing anything 
I know it's right in front of me. Obsidian turret base. Now see that? See how dark that is? I can't really tell what that recipe is. I, mean, I can almost tell what that is, but I'm not 100% certain. But here's the thing. Okay, in the book, where is it? Click the button above to be taken to the online guide right there. So if I click this, it's going to take me to a web page that's going to show me the pictures. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to bring you back, and then we're going to go ahead and get these two pieces crafted. All right, so I checked the online guide. Let's go ahead and click on here. And let's see. So we're going to put a circuit board in the middle. Two of these galvanized steel here. And let's see, one, two, three, four, like that. And that's going to give us a base. And then I put two more here. And let's see, it's four like that. And there is a turret. So, emergency crafting guide. No, not the emergency crafting guide. Let's get this open fire. So, is that right? Oh, no, I picked the emergency crafting guide again. <laughs> okay, um... Then you can craft some turrets to protect your base. So I, I wonder if I have to place place down the turrets. Oh, I have to assemble them, don't I? Hmm. Let me see here. What do I do to assemble? I think it's that and that. A deplorable obsidian turret cannot be moved picked up once placed. All right, so we're going to do that, and let's see. Do we get the achievement? Do we get the achievement? Now, it says turrets. It says plural, two. So I wonder if we have to make two turrets, or if we have to set this one down. Let's see. You know what would be a good, a good vantage point? A good vantage point for this thing would be up on top of the spaceship. Up on top of the spaceship. Um, let's see, and, oh, okay, good, I left some over here, so let's go ahead up here, let's place this down here, <gasps> whoa, <laughs> knowing me, I would stand in front of it and get shot, it would shoot at a bad guy, and it would shoot me instead, now why did I get steak, where did that come from, I thought the only reward, oh, that's gonna get annoying, no one told me that a loud turret on top of the house would make a bunch of racket. Let's go ahead and come down here. And let's see. Power up. A powered block. I get a powered block as a reward. Well, now that you've got that turret all set up, I suppose you better get back on track with getting off this planet. I agree. You'll need a few powered blocks for both the distress beacon and the beacon base, a 3x3 platform. I'll need quite a few powered blocks. So apparently, another sandstorm. Aha! And we are safe down here. You go ahead and rage. You rage to your heart's content. We are safe. And check it out. Piggy figured out how to stop the sandstorm. <laughs> Just by opening up the crafting book. So let's go through here. Let's see. Powered block. So one, two, three, four blocks of iron which we have a ton of because we cleared that out from the spaceship. Uh, four pieces of redstone dust. So we got a ton of that from all of the uh, all the sand that we've been collecting. And a circuit board. So a circuit board. All right, so I tell you what. I'm going to go ahead off camera and craft up a bunch of this because, oh, man, that's going to take a lot to do. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll meet you back after the sandstorm has gone, which we can shut down. And then we'll see what happens next when we get ourselves a power block. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody. That turret's about to drive me insane. But I've managed to go ahead and collect enough stuff. Now, I noticed that one of the rewards is going to be a power block. And I think I need three, three power blocks to make this beacon. But I went ahead and made some extra circuit boards just in case. Because you never know. The spaceship might need a circuit board, too. But we're going to go ahead and craft this. Let's see if I do, do this right. That, 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 and that. And that's going to give us a powered block. And did I get another? Woohoo! I got another. Awesome. 
So let's see. Send help. I get 32 redstone shards. Now why would they do that? To send help. Work on crafting that distress beacon now. Once you've crafted it, place it on a 3x3 three three platform of powered blocks to give it some juice. Perhaps some kind, cute, super intelligent penguin race could save us. Shh, I can dream. Okay, so penguins are going to rescue a pig. Well, they both start with the letter P. But So 3x3 three three base of powered blocks. Wow. Okay. So that is a whole lot more powered blocks than I thought I was going to need to do. So that's nine more powered blocks. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and make at least one more powered block. Good thing I made some more circuit boards. Let's go ahead and do this. And that's going to give us our three powered blocks like that. Oh, you know what? I need to make... I did this just so I would remember. I need to make myself a torch first. And we'll place that there. And like this, and I think along the bottom, a distress beacon can only be placed on power blocks. Her. All right, so I'm going to get to crafting. I'm going to get to crafting all of these things so we can get a powered block. Hopefully it'll be daytime by that time. And the turret won't be making so much racket. So I'm going to do that. And let's see if we can get off this, this planet. This crazy barren planet. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, everybody. Look what I've got. <laughs> Nine powered blocks and a distress beacon. We might. We might be going home. Finally. Hmm. So I, I guess it doesn't matter where I place it. Whoa. That's crazy. Okay, so we're going to set this down. I'm going to pop that down. Oh, dread wing, warning, dread wing approaching. Whoa. Whoa. What is that? That's not good. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is that? Um. Okay, so we're going to jump in here. Let's check this book and see what this says. Dread wing approaches. I get a molten core. I don't even know what a molten core is. Well, I was right on the penguin part, eh? Good luck, mate. Dreadwing doesn't take prisoners. I hope you still have plenty of ammo left and a bit of fight left in you. You can do it, anxious cheering. Hmm. Okay, so here's what I don't like. Where did it go? I... Okay, so I have that gun right there, right? But look, it's like wearing out. Or is that the right one? I thought I had two different guns here. And I don't know if I can craft any more guns. That's crazy. I know that I picked up a gun off the ground. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just go for broke here. Let's see what this does. So, it's... Wait a minute. Whoa! Kitty cats! <laughs> they do, don't they? They look like kitty cats. Oh my gosh, and they're dropping stuff. That's crazy, and they're dropping it right there on my moat. Instead of right there. Huh. So am I supposed to just fight these penguin creatures? Like that? That is crazy. What in the world is going on? Alright, well I'm going to run inside and collect myself. I, I've got to swap out a few tools and see if we can figure this thing out. Okay, so I swapped out all my stuff. Went ahead and put all the other stuff that I wasn't going to use inside. Just in case I die, I don't have to run out there and collect it all. And it's really odd. It's like for some reason the spaceship isn't coming over here and attacking me. So, for some weird reason, my little area that I constructed over here is kind of actually working to my advantage. Oh, that's awesome. Look, they're like stuck. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... 
I can't tell if this is hurting that spaceship or not. I guess we'll just keep firing at it. See, sometimes they bounce off. I don't get that. <gasps> Where'd it go? What in the world? Did I scare it off? I don't get it. Wonder about all these guys. So mate, whoa, whoa, boy, he's like super fast, angry. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy, they're furious, aren't they? <laughs> oh man, and what stinks? That's crazy. Look, they're like, I bet this is like some weird crazy glitch, almost like mob timing issues or something. Well, I hope that the I hope the ray gun lasts till I can get rid of all these guys. It'd be nice if daytime was here. To go ahead and get the zombies out of the way, because they're kind of absorbing some of the Oh no! No no no. Oh my gosh, did that really just happen? <laughs> okay, come here. Give me give me helmet. Why won't it give me the stinking helmet? No, I want the hat. Give me the hat. And it sounds... What? Okay, so we're... Uh, oh, no. No, don't die on me, Biggie. It sounds like the spaceship came back. Oh, no, that's my, my gun up there. Okay. So, let's see. I need another, another crafting guide. Quest book. Not a quest book. A recipe guide. Because we need to figure out how to make another sword. Because I dropped my sword out there. And there is no telling if I can get that sword or not. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and craft myself a sword real quick, and then we're going to go back out there and see if we can deal with these guys. All right, so... That was weird. It almost looked like something was falling from the sky. And there is all my junk. And these guys... I've already jumped down there once. There's two swords there. Yeah, because these guys are crazy vicious. Let me see here. Maybe we could do something where we can... Maybe we can rig up a trap and suffocate them. That's a good idea. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to sit here and... Co you know what? I've got so much stuff in here. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to search through here. Get us a whole bunch of dust. And we're going to see if we can just suffocate these guys and be done with it. So you guys, stay put. I got a little surprise for you. We're just, you know, don't mind us. We're just creating a little hotel for you. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man, and good thing they're staying put, too. There we go. Now that is how you deal with an infestation of penguins. Oh, man, you guys are loud. You guys are super loud. Wait a minute. I have no beacon. What is this? Huh? All right. Well, I'm going to go over here. Let's see. Did all these guys go away? Yeah. Let's go and get all our stuff. And gather this up. Hmm. I don't know if I beat the game or not. Let's see. Let's go and go over here. We'll pop this down. Is it going to call another bad guy? He approaches again. That is not fair. All right, well, let's go ahead and get rid of this because the penguins are definitely going to try and jump the wall if I don't get rid of that. So we'll fix that. Where is he? You know what? This thing makes me think of like a ghast. Let's go ahead and do this. I wonder if I could just knock the fireballs right back. <gasps> Did it work? Okay, there's one, two, three. And there's something up in the sky. Did you see that? It was weird. For just a second, there was something up there. I don't know if I'm missing or not. But it does seem to be trying to go back. It's like a weird glitchy or something. Come here. Get dealt with. How many... How many smacks does it take to blow up a spaceship? <laughs> oh, come on, you trolly little spaceship. Wow, there's like crazy glitching going on. And I can hear more uh, 
penguins below me. Do you hear that? Or is that, maybe that's the sound of the spaceship getting hurt. I can't even tell if I'm doing damage. That was weird. Whoa, okay, so they are getting hurt. <gasps> okay, so something just dropped. Let me see if I can get rid of these guys without them hurting me. And they're dropping... Huh. So I guess they're supposed to be like zombie... Wait. Map complete. La fin. Which I think is French for finish. Really? We finished it? So what's this? A molten core. Place in middle slot of CM. What is CM? Is that the crafting module? Oop, let's see what this does. <gasps> Where am I? Whoa. Did the faces look like they changed? Thank you for all the beta testers of the map. Thanks for playing. Whoa, cool. Check this out. That is awesome. And, oh gosh, I'm going to have to... I wonder if I can take my helmet off now. Nope. <laughs> Can't take off the helmet. Do not take off the helmet, Peggy. That's bad. Wait, what does this say? Welcome to the inner workings of the map. Awesomeness. So I could actually go through here and figure out how they did all this. And this is something cool. This is UFO events. Wow. That is so cool. Hmm. I'm going to have to go through and check all these out because I'm really curious to know how they made all these different things work. But, so apparently... Apparently, we survived the planet or something? I don't quite get the end. I don't understand the ending. Did we get saved? Are we rescued? It doesn't say. Hmm. And here's that big, bad, stinking UFO. <laughs> just sitting there. Just waiting. Maybe it zapped us up here. I don't know. I can't tell. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to give a little face-to-face. -face. See the little face-to-face, -face, Piggy? Yeah. I got something else in store for you. I'm going to do one more episode. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to explore the map. We're going to explore some of the stuff around here. And some other cool stuff. So, don't forget it. Don't miss one more episodal. One more episodal of Planetary Confinement with Piggy. And I'm going to see if I can get in the beam. <laughs> beam me up, Scotty. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if I'm actually going to... Oh, I think I can break that. Let's not break that. So, I'm going to nose around here for a little bit and see if I can figure out how exactly I'm supposed to get home or what kind of end this is. And I will see you in the last episode of Planetary Confinement. <laughs>